Time for another board game review, and this time we have the game Tuberinth. This was sent to me by Lion Rampant Imports and is designed by Martin N. Anderson. Race and build, the pipeline game that will amaze you. The aim of the game is to be the first player to build pipelines in a Tuberinth and score 25 points or more. Let me show you how to play. So each player takes one set of colored pipes and each player has the same shapes of pipes. And then each player takes one Tuberinth board. Uh, all the Tuberinth boards have different uh, sort of patterns on them. Here's a score track. You keep track of the score using these score counters with little characters on them. And here's a 30 second timer. So upon an agreed signal, all players simultaneously attempt to lay down a pipeline from the start point to the end point on their Tuberinth board. Um, you must complete this task using five, six, or seven pipe tiles, the more the better. Pipe tiles may be placed only on empty spaces and they cannot cover uh, obstacles like these dark brown spaces. Dead ends and open ends are allowed, but if upon closer examination, some of the pipe tiles are totally un unnecessary for the pipe, like totally not connected, those must be removed from the board. So here's an example of a completed pipeline. As you can see, it connects through here, down through here, and voila. So that is a completed pipeline. The first player to finish their pipeline calls out pipes ready and they flip over this hourglass. And so everyone else has 30 seconds to finish their pipelines. Anyone who succeeds can call it on the second, on the third, and so on. When the time is out, all players immediately stop laying their pipelines. Then everyone checks if they have indeed built their pipelines correctly. So this is an example of one that is correctly set. So the first player would score points for every used tile. This one uses six tiles, so they would get six points on the score track. So they would move their piece onto number six. The second player would get one point for each of their used tiles, minus one point. The third player would get one point for each tile, minus two points. So as you can see, there's a scoring system. So the faster you go, the more points you'll get, and you'll get penalized if you, get, if you take longer. Anyone who doesn't finish the pipeline gets one point per pipe tile not used by the first player. So since the first player used uh, didn't use one pipe, uh, the people who don't complete the pipeline would only get one point each. A player who managed to build their pipeline may never get fewer points than the one who didn't. If this should happen, the player who finished the pipeline gets the same amount of points as the one who didn't. And if their pipeline is incorrect, they lose one point and you adjust the score track accordingly. After you count up all your points, remove all your pipe tiles from your tuberinth board. You can flip it, or because it has a different pattern on it, or if you've used both sides of the board, pass it to the player on the left and get a new board from somebody else. Um, if you use all of the sides of every board in play, you can grab some from the other stack. And you start a new round, try to build those pipes as fast as you can. Whoever builds theirs first starts the timer, and then you keep going. Whoever reaches 25 points or more first is the winner. And that's how you play. So the game is very simple, but actually not in a bad way. I appreciate that it's extremely quick and easy to learn. Like all you gotta know is put the pipes on the board as fast as you can. We found out that we were actually really into trying to speed up and beat each other. Cause when someone calls pipes ready, everyone's like, ah, God damn it. And they just, it, it is a tense, like fun little game. The art is appealing. I like how the pipes and the, the tuberinth boards look. It, it has a nice look to it. Uh, it's a pretty decent little kids game. It's not something I see myself pulling out all the time, but it's f like a fun, quick little diversion. Um, it's actually surprisingly challenging trying to find the right arrangement of pipes for some of these boards. Like, and this is someone who like loves this kind of like pipe make like making the pipes go through kind of game. This is a pretty tough game sometimes. Uh, there were several times where like on this board I was just like I, I can't do it like. I can't do it in the 30 seconds after this person. I'm, I'm screwed. It's it's actually pretty tough. Uh, it may be a slightly shallow experience because all you're really doing is making these pipe mazes. Um, but it goes by quick. Rounds go by super quick. You don't lose your time. It's pretty engaging for what it is. So, yeah. Decent, accessible kids game. Not bad.